Boston Center, Warrior 888 Golf Mikes. Holding shorter one-way nine in Presque Isle, looking for IFR clearance direct to the Bahamas. Ryan, you get out of this place this instant! I got cold feet! I can't do it! I can't get married! Uh, Boston Center, What do you mean you can't do it? We've already done I'm it! I'm sorry! I have to go! I'm going to the Bahamas without you! Get off the wing! What? What? I don't, I don't even... What? Uh, I don't know what to do! Get off the wing! Uh... We can't permit takeoff when there is a woman on your wing. If you do not shut this plane down right now, I swear to God, I will light this and throw it in your lap. What's this about? Don't you love me? Of course I love you. I'm just freaking out. I'd say so, you jackass. What's the deal? I don't know. I miss my motorcycle. Are you kidding me? This is about your motorcycle. You sold it to get a bigger one, and you got a pretty penny. So don't blame me. No, I mean, like I haven't shot my rifle in a while. Your gun? You miss your gun more than me? I feel the island is just... I gotta... I gotta go there. You better start making sense real soon. I just don't feel like me, and I'm afraid of the future. When I got married, I was nervous that I wouldn't be able to live my life the way I wanted to anymore. Wouldn't be able to golf, hunt, fish, stuff like that. Have you been listening the whole time? But I got married anyways, and you know what? I haven't hunted or gone golfing in five years. I'm not that controlling. I'm just saying. I think your man isn't feeling like much of a man right now. Bingo. I don't care if you go shoot your gun or ride your motorcycle. Hell, go play golf with this random air traffic control guy. That would make me just, just so happy. Listen here, Boston Center. That's a little bit much. Okay, first of all, my name is Eric. You've been flying through here since high school and you never once took the time to learn my name. Second... I have an idea. You two obviously love each other, so let's run through your relationship and remind you why. So, how did you meet? Well, um, I met Ryan at his shop. I went in to get tires put on and he wouldn't do it. She came in and I could just, I picked her out from a mile away. She was just like the type of chick that like tries to get her way and whatnot. And I was like, I can do it on Monday. <laughs> He was closing, and he wouldn't stay long enough to put him on for me. He said, make an appointment. Later, he told me that if I pushed it a little bit, I could have got my way, but that was in October. October 14th, I believe. It was probably a month or two later she came back and needed an oil change. So we did that, did the service for her or whatever, and about a week later, I reached out to her and um, set up our first date. I was a little surprised, but I was excited that he messaged me. Our first date, we went to Moscato's restaurant and we shared a calzone. <laughs> uh, we split a calzone and then we went home and kind of cuddled on her couch and there was the first kiss right on her couch. I just remembered that he was a really good kisser. It was surprising. He rides motorcycles and shoots ARs and flies a plane and you wouldn't know he was this soft, really kind, gentle, loving person. He wanted to stay the night and I was like, no, you need to go home. We had a long heart to heart one night and it was like four or five hours of talking in the kitchen and it ended up with us by the middle of the night, like crying on the kitchen floor. So I got some bad medical news and I just wanted him to comfort me. We really talked through a lot of things and we were up all night long. I said a prayer and he said a prayer, um, kind of just giving it all over to God. And I'd never really had anything revealed to me before from God like that, but he did. He just kind of opened my eyes and I realized that she was exactly what I needed in my life and that I wanted more with her. And for, I went from like, from zero to like 100 miles an hour, pretty much in the snap of my fingers. It was instantaneous like that. He just thanked God so much for 
opening his eyes and he felt stupid because I had been there all along and he couldn't see it. <laughs> and he realized it and we both realized it. And I don't know if we said it, but like just the way we were looking at each other, is we both knew. That's the moment that I knew that I was in love with him. That was the night we fell in love. We've been together every night since then. We haven't been apart a day since then. I was like probably two or three weeks later when we were thinking about getting married. It was just so intense between us and what's the point of waiting to get married? I would have married her instantly. So when you know, that you know. We're in the mall on Saturday and she was away for a few minutes so I ran to JCPenney's and ran into the jeweler department and uh, there was like all these women in there and I was like pushed them all aside and was like I need an engagement ring and I need it like right now and everybody was like shocked and uh, I was able to pick the one out almost instantly. I looked at them all real quickly and fell in love with one of them almost the, way, the same way that I fell in love with her. It was just, it was just so perfect. So the proposal went down at the Star City Saints. Ryan and I were on the dance floor and he got down on his knees. And it was loud and it was there was lights and it was confusing. So she couldn't hear me. So I'm on my knee like trying to uh, talk to her and she couldn't hear me. So I, she got right down there with me. And I thought he was joking and I'm like, get up. It wasn't until I actually saw the ring that I realized that it was real. I asked her to marry me. She said yes, so we cried on the dance floor. <laughs> we have huge plans. Um, Ryan always had a dream that he wanted to buy a building and start an orphanage. And that's kind of right up my alley. As we get to talking, we discovered that we have the same dream of starting an orphanage. So that's our plan. We put an offer in on property and we are going to build an orphanage. We want to serve the Lord the best that we can. And there's just such a huge need for it. There's so many kids that don't have a mom and a dad. Somebody needs to step in and, and love those kids and show them the way. I love Jackie with all my heart and nothing has felt so right in my entire life. So I'm so grateful. Ryan is my whole world, everything that I've always wanted and more. And I never thought in a million years I would find him. I'm so grateful. Hello. Jackie, what? Jackie, where are you? I'm waiting for you. Where are you guys? We'll be there in a minute. We'll be there in a minute, Mom. Bye. Love you. Babe, you good? I'm good. All right, good. Because everyone's waiting and we need to go right now. All right, let's go. Okay. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> guys? Guys? Well, we didn't lose too much time. Let's go, babe. <laughs>